at the US Capitol, outside the seat of power, they've been playing Swiss horns. Inside, this was how history sounded. Quigley, yay. Ramirez, yay. Raskin, yay. They were talking about Kevin. The yeas were in support of ousting Kevin McCarthy, Calvert. the House Speaker, third in line to the presidency. It's the first time this has ever happened. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Congressman, will you resign? Kevin McCarthy left the House chamber, its Speaker no more. It was an extraordinary step. The now vacant seat creates a now partial paralysis at the heart of government. I do not regret negotiating. Our government is designed to find compromise. I don't regret my efforts to build coalitions and find solutions. I was raised to solve problems, not create them. I wouldn't change a thing. The political fight had been Republican on Republican. Hardline conservatives in the party had been gunning for McCarthy more so after he counted on Democrat votes to avoid a weekend government shutdown. Matt Gates was McCarthy's nemesis within. He was the Republican House representative who drove the vote to bring him down. Sir, you, you have paralyzed the House of Representatives today. To whose benefit? People have called you a narcissist. People say that it's to your benefit alone. Is it to the benefit of you? and to Donald Trump. It's the benefit of this country that we have a better Speaker of the House than Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy couldn't keep his word. He made an agreement in January regarding the way Washington would work, and he violated that agreement. McCarthy and Gates have history. This was the pair in an angry exchange on the floor of the House. Gates, in the grey suit to the left, was opposing McCarthy's bid for the Speakership. Compromises made amidst confrontation left McCarthy beholden to hardline Conservatives. If he didn't know it then, he does now. It is quite the scene, the politics of personality and of paralysis. As the House Speaker, one of America's most prominent and powerful politicians, is unseated. An interim Speaker has been put in place pending a permanent appointment. It is the job description that lists the politics of running a country and of party division. James Matthews, Sky News, in Washington.